Hi, welcome to this uh, new video on how this chat GPT can be used in quality management system. In recent days, you heard a lot about chat GPT. So I've decided to make one small video about this, how this chat GPT can be used in your QMS. So what is this chat GPT? It's a large language model developed by OpenAI. They use this artificial intelligence and it generates human-like responses. So this particular uh, artificial intelligence language model has been trained with different set of uh, text data and it will generate the text. And uh, this chat GPT is capable of answering questions and even it uh, generate creative writings. It engage in our casual conversation and a lot more. So this is at very initial stage. So let's uh, understand this, how it can be used in a quality management system. So some of the key bulletin points, uh, what I have listed here, uh, even this itself generated by ChatGPT. So it says uh, you can use ChatGPT to improve efficiency. So as a process owners, you can identify which are the area where you want to improve the efficiency. Whatever the various KPI data we have in our organization, if you feed those data into chat GPT, it can analyze and it even suggests the area where we need to focus, where we can able to reduce the waste and we can save time. Risk management, yes, it's one of the uh, good potential tool to identify the risks in a process. Compliance monitoring, again, chat GPT can monitor compliance within the industry standards and regulations. Data analytics, continuous improvement, even uh, training, yes, ChatGPT can provide training to the employees on different uh, processes, even quality management system and different methodologies. It act, it may play an active role, right? Uh, root cause analysis, even the whole, uh, this particular session, I'm going to do a demo on this root cause analysis, how ChatGPT can help process owners in identifying the root causes. Customer feedback, Various organizations have already started using this customer feedback, ChatGPT, because uh, bots, most of the bots are now enabled with ChatGPT options. Communication, even it can facilitate communication between different process owners and other stakeholders. Accountability, yes, you can utilize it further to ensure accountability on your QMS. So these are some of the key area where we can use ChatGPT. Okay, so let's see a demo here. Uh, I'm going to uh, discuss here uh, non-conformity. Uh, this non-conformity is observed in an audit. Even uh, the audit have uh, reviewed this, accepted this non-conformity and come up with the proper containment actions, corrections, root cause analysis and corrective action that is being submitted to an auditor. Auditor also accepted it. So what I'm trying to do now is uh, let's see what would be the non-conformity. What is the response made by a process owners? And uh, the same uh, non-conformity I'd like to populate in chat GPT. Let's see what is the response we have received from this chat GPT. That's what we are going to do. So this is the non-conformity, which is observed in an audit. Raw material batches, there are two batches, one, two, three, four, and uh, five, six, seven, eight, was traced back from work in process job. There are different jobs, uh, particularly there are two jobs they have taken, ABCD and EFGH, which were producing a critical part for a customer. The customer requirement, uh, supplier quality requirement, para 14.2 require that suppliers of critical parts shall periodically send material for verification by an independently nationally approved laboratory. The material is sent heat treatment as part of a production process to an independent nationally approved laboratory which reports back on hardness values and resulting against the manufacturing specification. There is one spec AMS XXXX. However, there is no evidence to demonstrate that the chemical properties are being independently verified. So this is the non-conformity. And this is the containment action, which is recorded by the process owner. All the parts on hold, no parts to be shipped until verification of independent test completed and accepted. So correction. The raw material sample for 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, 6, 7, 8 has been sent to MAT test metal testing lab against on purchase order 1, 2, 3, 4 and requesting full chemical analysis to AMS XXXX metal spec. And they found it is meeting the requirement. 
root cause what they have identified is the process in place covering material verification did not cover the customer requirements. The verification process was covered by an independent check of the chemical analysis on the supplier certificate of conformance against the relevant material standard. This was performed after goods in acceptance. And the corrective action, what they have proposed, three critical parts have identified. Independent material verification to be performed periodically, a minimum of uh, X number per annum across the critical parts. And they have updated uh, their process. Work instruction XX material verification has been updated to include the independent test on raw material and relevant inspection. Personnel have received training covering the process. So this is what the response the audit have updated and this is being reviewed and accepted by the auditors. So let's look at the same case with the chat GPT. So now I'm going to share chat GPT screen. Let's look at this. This is the chat GPT screen. So let's ask this question. So can you do a root cause and corrective action for me? So look at the response. So I'm going to post the situation there. So let's hear from them. So the containment action, what ChatGPT proposed is immediately stop the use of raw material, batches 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, 6, 7, 8 in any ongoing or even future production until further notice. Notify the customer of the issue and inform them their critical parts may have been affected. Review and update the production process to ensure all critical parts are verified independently by a nationally approved laboratory for both chemical and physical properties before delivering to the customer. So look at this, how cleverly they are connecting various dots and giving and populated the containment action. It talks about customer notification. It talks about horizontal checking of uh, any such containment, right? And correction, conduct an investigation into production process to identify any gaps in the verification process of raw material, batches, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, 6, 7, 8. And it asks us to develop a plan to verify the chemical properties of affected raw material batches. And it expects us to implement a corrective action plan to ensure all future raw material batches are verified for both chemical and physical properties before used in production process. And quite interestingly, look at this root causes. Root cause of the issue is the failure to independently verify the chemical properties of raw material batches, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, 6, 7, 8. The production process only verifies the physical properties of material through heat treatment and hardness testing, but the chemical properties are what not independently verified as required by the customer spec. So this is what the root causes chat GPT populates. Of course, corrective action is there to attack the root cause. Look at the corrective action. It asks us to develop and implement a plan to verify the chemical properties of all raw material batches used in production process, not just the affected batches. You ensure the verification process where the process owners come up with the work instruction, right? Similar to that. They expect us to ensure that the verification process include both physical and chemical properties is conducted by an independent nationally approved lab. Establish a monitoring system to track the verification of raw materials and ensure that the process is being followed consistently and provide training to the, all the relevant person on importance of following customer specific requirement for critical parts. See, if you compare this, what human come up with the proposed containment, correction and corrective action root cause analysis Chat GPT also populates almost similar to that. Even you can further fine tune it. You can ask further question why the uh, customer specific requirements are missed out. So you keep on uh, ask these type of questions and Chat GPT keep on populates uh, the different answers based on the information what you give. Okay, so that's what I would like to populate this in video. So remember, chat GPT is not alternate to humans. So it will help us to work efficiently, more efficiently. And we can use this as a, our secondary brain or whatever you call them. That's all. Thank you. Hope this video find interesting. Thank you.